Okay, we're working our way through the final fabrication to the cab. The idea is we want to get all of our holes drilled and, and, and everything mocked up and fabricated while we still have a chance to prime it and then paint it. We don't want to have it all painted and then, you know, trying to get things to fit or drilling holes through fresh paint. So one of the things that we've been thinking about for a long time and now the day has come where we got to deal with is we wanted to, to make an upgrade on our windshield wiper system. This is the stock C10 uh, wiper motor. These are mounted from the inside of the cab and out. So that I'm standing on the outside firewall here. So they mount from the inside and then the windshield wiper arms get connected out here underneath the cowling. The stock motors turn counterclockwise so we thought, well, we, we really like to do is because, you know, we are going to be able to probably go, you know, pretty comfortable down the road at 70 or 80 miles an hour. And we want to make sure we got good wipers. We wanted to see if we could use the 06 wiper motor and just fabricate it in the hole and do what we had to do to line up the linkage. But the problem that we, we discovered was that the newer style motor on the 06, it actually rotates in a clockwise direction so it's not as easy as just mounting um, the motor right in and hooking everything up so we thought okay that's no problem um, because the 06 motor mounts from the outside of the firewall inside the engine compartment we, we would maybe just go ahead and cut our firewall up and you know get the right angle that we needed for the linkage to line up in the right depth and we thought well you know Who's to say we're going to get the right angle and how far is that motor going to protrude because there's really not a whole lot of room you know to put a motor in here so it's like you know what ideally what we really want to do is we want to get the motor our new the 06 motor to spin counterclockwise so i put a lot of time in the internet and trying to figure out you know what we need to do to make this motor turn counterclockwise and we want to be able to use you know the original steering wheel switch and not really have a knob on our dash or anything we do see that you know there's some aftermarket motors that you can get that actually are seven speeds you know they're pretty pricey and we don't really want a knob on the dash we'd like to you know we got the stalk already on the, you know turn signal we'd like to just you know keep keep that if we could so I started playing around with this a little bit went ahead and you know wired temporary wired our uh, you know interior wiring harness together with the fuse box from underneath the hood fuse box inside and the BCM got everything wired up and you know powered up the motor so everything worked okay and we actually had a, a guinea pig or extra motor here that you know we started playing with and you know a lot of people just say hey no problem you know it's just a dc motor just you know flip flip the wires around positive and negative and it'll it'll go the opposite direction and that's true and and, and that does work that way but the system's a little more complicated you know as you take the the cover off you know inside of here you'll see you know there's a circuit board in here and the stop the the signal for stop is actually a wire that comes out of your BCM. So it's a, it's a little more involved than just flip-flopping wires in consideration of, you know, all this other wizardry that's going on in here. It's just really not likely that that's going to work. But we thought, you know what, we've got this motor. We're going to try it and see what happens. Got out the wiring diagram, started looking at this, and thought, you know what, what, what if, if we kept everything intact, BCM's here. We got our stop hot coming into the, um, this is the circuit board for the wiper motor. This is the wiper motor circuit itself. This is the um, switch this, on the steering wheel and your, you know, different speeds, the resistors. And then there's a main power that feeds the stalk switch and, you know, it comes out of this relay. And there's another power that comes out of that relay and goes into the motor and then the motor has a ground. So I thought, okay, right, let's just, let's just flip this. Let's just see what happens. 
if we take and make our positive, we'll ground that. And what was our ground? We'll throw a hot into that. Again, if you flip-flop these two, it should go the opposite direction. All right? So we did that. And you know what? <laughs> that actually worked. Everything worked. We didn't, uh, we didn't fry anything in the circuit board. The motor went in the opposite direction. Um, and we actually fused this, so we're not, you know, totally disregard on blowing everything up, but we did put some fuses in along the way just to kind of protect it and to give us another opportunity to another experiment. And that seemed to work. But it was just nice to see, hey, it works. It, it, it goes backwards, it starts, it stops, the delay works, the low speed works, the high speed works, everything's going good. But as you can imagine, think this through, if we're flip-flopping, you know, our hots and our negatives, positive and negatives here, there's actually a third wire that goes in here for the, you know, because there's a there's a low signal, a high speed signal combine the two in the ground. So the problem was is that when you when you take your original ground and you make it hot, you've turned this whole casing into hot, which is not too cool shoving this thing up underneath your dash and someday you're going to find out that you're going to ground something out to this thing and you're going to be blowing fuses or it could be worse and then so we thought, well we'll just cover this we'll shield this somehow and you know so we can't penetrate it and, and we'll go ahead if that's the worst thing at least our motor is going the direction we want it and we should be good to go but the problem is and you'll see it on this motor is the arm that goes to the the linkage there's no way that you can separate the signal and it's going to be hot. You can't have anything strong enough here um, to fasten this that isn't going to conduct electricity up to this arm. And so your, your linkages, your washer arms are going to be hot. Everything's going to be hot. So that's really not a good way of going about this. So as I was putting this thing back and together, back and forth a bunch of times, I thought, you know what? What do we need to do to, to get this you know, where's the, the, the hot grounding out on this casing? Is there someplace in here that we can eliminate, you know, in those wiring into the motor? Can we eliminate that, that final connection and separate it so the case doesn't become hot, but just the motor gets this hot signal? And in doing so, I took this case motor cover on and off a couple times looking in there. And one time, when I put it back together, I noticed that this was spinning in the stock or original direction. But yet my wiring never changed from whenever it was going in the opposite direction. So the light bulb came on that, hey, maybe all you have to do is take this casing and flip it 180 degrees and put it back on, and then the motor will go opposite direction. I don't have to do anything with any of this wiring. It's quite simply, all I gotta do is flip the casing. So lo and behold that's what you do so here's the here's the a good motor okay and you can see the arrow on there that's the stock direction clockwise all right so I just energize this and you can see there's low high everything works like it should delay okay Stops where it's supposed to. All right, that was going. That was going stock clockwise. Now, all I gotta do is separate the case. Obviously, there's two bolts that hold this together, but for speed of things, I'm just gonna do it that way. Energize it. Turn it back on. Look at that. So I got. Low, high, there's low, here's delayed. And off. So, here you go. For all those of you interested in flipping direction, just take this off, flip it 180, put it back on. You don't have to do any of this monkey shine with any of this wiring and you should be good to go so now all we got to do 
for fabrication, remove the new style linkage, drill this out to that diameter, put some knurls in it, figure out where we need it to stop, and bolt that on. And we should be good to go. You know, obviously, we're going to have to make some brackets or whatever we need to do to make this fit into the hole on the, on the cab, but that in our world is easy. The other thing I wanted to point out why this is a part is this is the stop indicator. So I know a lot of guys, when I was reading on this, you know, a lot of guys are talking about, you know, how to stop it in a certain location. And, um, and again, they were talking about how to change direction, but they're just using a regular motor, two speed motor without the, um, the delays on it. But um, this is what indicates where to stop the arm on here. So this lines up with the gear on the ring here. This, these are grooved. So you can loosen this and spin this to a different location if you want the arm to stop in a different location. But obviously the easiest way to do this is just to loose, take this off, put it back on where you want it to stop. That's the easiest way to do it. So anyways, long story short, um, put quite a bit of time into this, well, actually a lot of thought into how we were going to manage this. So we were able to you know, lay it all out here so we knew what we got from, from the get-go. So when we bolt this in, wire it up, we'll know what we have. So all we got to do now is fabricate that bracket so it'll fit in here so we get the right height. So we'll actually, what we'll do is we'll mount that back up in there. We'll take some dimensions or measurements on how far that um, linkage should stick up out of there. And then we'll figure out how we're going to bolt the new motor in there. And then we'll just mount that linkage on it and we should be good to go. So anyways, it's an easy fix. And everything works like it should.